You witness the 14-minute visual treat, Adi Yogi Divya Darshanam, narrated by Sadhguru. The unique and magnificent Adi Yogi Divya Darshanam has won prestigious awards too. May I now request the Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmu, to please address the gathering. Founder Isa Yoga Center, Sadhguru Yagi Vasudev Ji, Minister for IT from the State Government, Sri T. M. Tangaraj Ji, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Ong Namo Sibayo. Ong Namo Sibayo. Ong Namo Sibayo. I bow to all that is Shiva, which means Subha. All that is auspicious, gracious, benevolent in this universe. I feel specially blessed today. Earlier in the day, I had the good fortune of having the son of Minaki Amma. I prayed before the mother goddess for the well-being of all. I feel blessed to be here on the holy occasion of Mahasivaratri in the presence of Adi Yogi. I am sure you too, like me, are feeling the special vibrations of this ambience. We are sensing a form of energy flowing through us that makes the whole cosmos alive. I was only last week that was I in Baranasi, the first of all, the abodes of Shiva. And I had a darshan of various manifestations of the God. In the Kasi Vishwanath temple and in the Kalvarivi temple, in the end of December, I had the good fortune of praying before Malikarjan Swami at Sri Sailam. And now I am here in the foothills of Velayangiri Hills, which is the Dakin Kailas, another award of Swayambhu Lord Shiva. We refer to Lord Shiva as father, a Shiva Baba, yet he also appears in the form of Adi Narishar, half male and half female. It points to the masculine and feminine sides of every human being and is an expression of the ideal of balancing the two. What we call gender balance today comes, comes alive so beautifully in that image. Sometimes I wonder if she was the sum total of all our religion, feelings, and spiritual thinking. Consider the various paths to the ultimate realization and liberation, which can also be called mukti, mokhya, or nirvana. Various traditions around the world speak of the path of devotion of bhakti, the path of wisdom, of jnana, the path of yoga, and so on. And Lord Shiva is the only one who is perceived to be the guiding light on any of these paths. Whether a seeker is a devotee of a person god or a jnani, seeking the absolute or a yogi, striving for the spiritual union, taking refuge in Lord Shiva is sure to lead to the objective. In the same way, Lord Shiva is a deity for all, as he appears in his various manifestations matching each of us. 
he is a householder a family man like most of us but he is also a sannyasi who has renounced everything and dwells in cremation grounds of eight of mountains he is the first yogi the adi yogi and he is also the first gyani who for example is said to have inspiration paninis grammar system one of the tallest intellectual achievements of human kind lord shiva as the name implies is a benevolent deity and yet in countless myths he is also depicted the ultimate fear some deity as revealed in another name for him rudra this might be why both lord ramo and ravana worshiped him this why he is the symbol of both kinds of energies creative and destructive he indeed transcend such fears of opposites because his destructive drives is also creative leading to the regeneration and rejuvenation of the cosmos it is this aspect of shiva's personality that comes alive in the stand of dance who is he also performed on the hill not far from here what can we mortal do before a god like this but to be in a way and bow down in worship that is what i meant when i began this address with the mantra om namo shivaya adi shankaracharya wanted us to know and realize the eternal shiva within all of us he says in his melodious nirmal sastakam no men murta sanka no me jatir bhed pita neva mene meneva mata na janma no bandhur no mitram guru neva shishya चिदानंद रूपम शिवाहम शिवाहम इट मीन्स आई हैव नो फियर ऑफ डेथ नो कास्ट और क्रीड आई हैव नो फादर नो मादर फॉर आई वॉज ने फॉर वर्न आई हैव नॉट ए रिलीवेंट रिलेटिव नोर ए फ्रेंड नोर ए टीचर और ए स्टूडेंट्स आई एम द फॉर्म ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड ब्लिस आई एम द इटरनल शिव to the non believers all of this may should like a matter of belief and myth however it is astounding that modern science has also begun to unravel some of the, the secrets of shiva in the early 20th century as physics broke new ground and scientists made images of the movement of subatomic particles they found tracking lines very similar to the movement of a dancing shiva a natraj is depicted in traditional sculptures what i am starting is of course a well known theory it shows that the ancient seers in their deep meditation perceived the true reality of the universe and expressed it their own language and symbols lord shiva symbolizes nothing but that absolute that is why many learned non believers to remain astonished by lord shiva ram manohar lohia a staunch socialist was an agnostic to but he understood that supreme phenomenon called lord shiva very well in an essay titles ram and krishna and shiva he wrote in 1956 while ramo and krishna led human lives shiva was without birth and is without end like god he is infinite but unlike god his life consists of events in time and many landmarks and he is therefore more non dimensional than god 
He is perhaps the only non-dimensional myth or concept known to men. There is certainly none other than death can reach him in this respect uncut. Fellow seekers, today is Mahasiburaratri, which is most parts of India, marks the end of winter and beginning of sunny days. Mahasiburaratri thus also marks the end of darkness, the darkness of ignorance, and opens the path of enlightenment. For those in search of higher ideals of life, today is an especially significant occasion. We also happen to be in the presence of a renowned Rishi of modern times, Sadhguruji, who has done more than the best to propagate the teachings of our past masters in all corners of the world. Countless people, especially young from India and abroad, have found in him the inspiration to make spiritual progress. Moreover, Sadhguruji has been teaching us about our social responsibility too, through his words as well as action. Today, the world demands a stone in strife, a jibar, but it is also facing an unprecedented ecological crisis. The need for a balanced and compassionate life in harmony with Mother Nature and all its great children was never felt so pressing as it does today. May this Mahasivaratri dispel darkness inside us and lead us all to more fulfilling and progressing life. I wish you a happy fun journey on this part, as this saying goes. Sibaste Panthano Hosantu. May the spiritual light of Mahasibaratri brighten our past every single day in our lives. Thank you. Namaskar. Ong Namasibayo. Joy Hind.